hey GED students. So um, I had a student um, through the Light Insult Gmail account who sent in a problem about probability after multiple events. So Jenny, this one's for you, but um, I'm not working your exact problem, but a parallel problem because I'm not sure what book you took it from and I don't want to steal anybody else's math problems. So here we go. Let's look at something similar. It says a certain sock drop. Oh, that's meant to say drawer. Oh, we're already in trouble. Okay, a certain sock drawer contains 15 pairs of black socks, 10 pairs of white socks, and 5 pairs of argyle socks at the beginning of the week. On Monday, Scott reached in at random and pulled out a pair of black socks. On Tuesday and Wednesday, he pulled out a pair of white each day. On Thursday, a pair of argyle socks were removed. Assuming none of the socks have been returned, what is the probability of reaching in at random on Friday and getting a pair of black socks? Okay, so seems like a simple probability problem at first, but then we realize that our sock drawer has changed over the course of the week. So because the sock drawer has changed over the course of the week, you're not going to be able to figure out the probability until you figure out the state of the sock drawer on Friday. So let's start with where we were at at the beginning of the week. It said at the beginning of the week, our sock drawer contained 15 pairs of black, 10 pairs of white, and five pairs of argyle socks. And again, they say that's at the beginning of the week. Let's write that down. 15 black, uh, 10 white, five argyle. But then we had some changes, didn't we? On Monday, Scott reached in at random and pulled out a pair of black socks. So first thing we have is on Monday, Scott pulls out a pair of black socks. Well, that's gonna change my sock drawer. If I pull out a pair of black socks, I won't have 14 pairs of black socks, in, I mean 15 pairs of black socks anymore, sorry. I'll have 14. So I changed my count there. Now it says on Tuesday and Wednesday, he pulled out a pair of white each day. So on both Tuesday and Wednesday, he pulled out a pair of white socks. Well, a pair on Tuesday, a pair on Wednesday, that's two pairs of white socks gone. Instead of having 10 pairs of white socks in the drawer, I'll now have eight. Down one for Tuesday, down one for Wednesday. Okay, no, so we took care of that. And then the last change that was made, it says on Thursday, uh, a pair of argyle socks were removed. He went in, pulled out a pair of argyle. So now instead of having five argyle, he's got four. Now they want to know, assuming none of the socks have been returned. Scott didn't put any of those socks back. So here's my current drawer status. 14 black, eight white, four argyle. And they want to know what is the probability of reaching in at random on Friday and getting a pair of black socks. Okay, so to figure out probability, you always do what I call wins over total. So my, a win here, we're looking for the probability of a black sock. So a win would be a black sock. So I got 14 pairs of black socks. So I'm going to put 14. 14 pairs out of how many total? Well, I don't know how many total. Let's go ahead and add up all these socks to figure out how many total socks are in the drawer. So 14 plus 8 is 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. We've got 26 total pairs going on. So 14 out of 26 total pairs are uh, black. And you say, yay, I'm done with the problem. Almost, almost. This is a correct answer, but it's not a complete answer because all final fraction answers should be reduced. So even if they are asking for it in fractional form, you are going to reduce it. Uh, 14 and 26 are both even numbers. I'll divide a 2 out of both of them. Uh, but good news, even if you're really bad at reducing fractions, um, a lot of students struggle with that. If you had this on the GED, you'd definitely have a calculator. So you could also type 14 over 26 into your calculator using the N over D button, N over D, and then just press enter and it would reduce it for you, 7 out of 13. So what's the probability uh, that he pulls out a pair of black socks at 7 out of 13. Now, um, sometimes they put probability into fraction form. Uh, I mean, into it's already in fraction form. Let me say that again. Sometimes they put it into percent form. So if you'd like to convert this into a percent in your calculator, which would be way easier than doing it by hand, again, type 7 over 13 into your calculator, and then you want the convert to percent button. The convert to percent button's in green, so hit second first and then hit that close parentheses button that has convert to a percent over that. 
And I do not have my beautiful TI calculator right now, so I'm going to do this in my phone calculator the long way. Let's see. So the long way, 7 divided by 13 equals, and now it's a decimal, so I'll multiply by 100 to make it a percent. And it would be about 53.8, and I say about because I'm rounding, percent. All right. Um, hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.